1969, the popularity of NASA, the U.S. Space Agency, reached its peak when they sent astronauts to the moon for the first time in the world. But at this time, NASA's popularity is known for its slowness. During the past 12 years, NASA has launched only one rocket. Besides, another company that is often mentioned with the nickname Delay, no less than NASA, is Blue Origin. However, incredibly, in 2023, Blue Origin has done more than NASA thought. So, what did B.O. and Jeff Bezos do to shock NASA? Let's find out in today's episode of Alpha Tech. One could say that 2023 marked a somewhat promising year for Blue Origin, although lacking major breakthroughs like Virgin Orbit and not achieving spectacular successes like SpaceX, Blue Origin still made significant strides. For a company that has lagged far behind SpaceX and struggled to fulfill the promises Jeff Bezos set when founding the company about 23 years ago, these steps forward are immensely significant. Bezos recently acknowledged the challenges the company faced stating that he's now actively involved in the company's operations in a manner he had not been while leading Amazon. We need to move much faster, and we're going to. This statement from Bezos serves as an affirmation of the expectations of rocket enthusiasts waiting for the upcoming year, as well as a declaration of the company's thorough preparation over the past period. Take a look at what Blue Origin has done. First, what we need to talk about is the progress of the New Glenn rocket, the only rocket from BO that can reach Earth's orbit. For the first time, there's a sense that Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin space company could launch the New Glenn rocket, a milestone that has been delayed for around 12 months. Of course, there are many checks and confirmations that Blue Origin needs to undertake before New Glenn is ready to soar. Firstly, the company's engineers need to assemble a complete New Glenn rocket and lift it onto the expansive launch pad on the company's Coastal Space Force Station at Cape Canaveral in Florida. This is likely to happen in the coming months as Blue Origin gears up for a series of tanking tests and simulated countdowns at the launch site. Although the maiden flight of New Glenn has been postponed from 2020 to 2021, then to 2022, and is currently slated for 2024, what's noteworthy is that Blue Origin has been consistent in the 2024 target for the New Glenn debut. Jeff Bezos, the head of Blue Origin, affirmed this in a recent speech. Launch. I'm very optimistic that the first launch of New Glenn will be in 2024. Bezos told Fridman. Asked if he was nervous about the launch, he said, are you kidding? I'm extremely nervous about it. A first launch, to have no nervousness about that would be, you know, some sign of derangement, I think. The two-stage New Glenn rocket is expected to reach a towering height of more than 98 meters and boasts the capability to carry nearly 100,000 pounds of payload into low Earth orbit, as stated by Blue Origin. It positions itself in a weight class surpassing the uppermost capacity of United Launch Alliance's Vulcan rocket, or SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket, but falls below the payload capacity of SpaceX's Falcon Heavy. Lars Hoffman, Blue Origin's vice president for government sales, provided an overview of the new Glenn rocket's development in a presentation at the beginning of December during the Space Energy Conference at the Space Force Association in Orlando. Hoffman presented a video offering a glimpse inside the new Glenn manufacturing facility Blue Origin situated close to NASA's Kennedy Space Center, just a few miles from the Cape Canaveral launch site. The showcase components, such as tanks and metallic structures, are earmarked for utilization in actual flight-ready New Glenn rockets, according to Hoffman. Specific equipment will also undergo ground-based qualification testing. The manufacturing pace is just picking up by the day, Hoffman told the gathering of Space Force officials. This is all flight hardware that we're going to fly on our first launches next year. There's some quality hardware in there as well, but things are picking up very fast. In fact, we're expanding the buildings there to support the scaling. This is also something that NASA officials had the chance to witness firsthand when they visited Blue Origin's manufacturing plant four months ago. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson tweeted, Thanks to Blue Origin for an impressive tour. I got to see New Glenn manufacturing up close, which is an essential element of their Blue Moon human landing system architecture, along with some intriguing images inside the facility. Blue Origin's progress is evident as the payload fairing of the New Glenn was seen in transit near Cape Canaveral. The fairing, resembling a clamshell, boasts a diameter of 7 meters and a height of over 21.9 meters, when nearly double the volume of typical payload fairings on SpaceX's Falcon 9 or Falcon Heavy rockets. 
According to Hoffman, the fairing is currently housed in Blue Origin's aircraft hangar near the New Glenn launch pad. A significant portion of the first stage of the New Glenn rocket, painted in Blue Origin's distinctive colors, is also visible outside the production complex in Florida. While Hoffman did not confirm whether this booster is intended for the inaugural New Glenn flight or serves as a ground test article, he mentioned that most of what Blue Origin showcased inside the facility is flight hardware. Moreover, Blue Origin has nearby launch sites that facilitate a streamlined workflow, building the rocket and transporting it directly to the launch site from the integration facility. With payload processing situated nearby, all elements are seamlessly brought together in one location. Hoffman confirmed the completion of construction at the New Glenn launch pad, formerly utilized for Atlas rockets, and highlighted its status as one of the largest launch sites at the Florida spaceport. It's just ready to go, and we'll put it to good use starting next year, he said. The next notable point is that the engine that Blue Origin produces, BE-4, has also seen a clear improvement. After years of delays, Blue Origin finally delivered BE-4 engines to the United Launch Alliance, the joint ventures of Lockheed Martin and Boeing, which uses the engines to power its Vulcan rocket. The performance of the Vulcan rocket will play a crucial role in determining how the BE-4 engines will function. Blue Origin has plans to intensify engine testing before the debut of New Glenn. This involves conducting tests of the BE-4 engine fueled by methane and the BE-3U engine fueled by hydrogen on a test stand in Alabama. Seven BE-4 engines will power the first stage of New Glenn, while two BE-3U engines will be utilized in the second stage. Finally, the first flight of the only operational rocket, Blue Origin's New Shepard, in 2023 has taken place. The mission marked New Shepard's 24th overall and first since failing mid-flight last year because of a structural failure in the rocket engine's nozzle that had been caused by excessive heat blasting from the engine's combustion chamber, Blue Origin has said. That led to a 15-month grounding. The U.S. FAA, which oversees mishap investigations by private rocket companies, required Blue Origin to redesign New Shepard's engine before returning to flight. The mission on December 19th lasted just over 10 minutes and marked Blue Origin's first and likely only flight of the year. In a statement after the mission, Blue Origin's senior vice president of the New Shepard program, Phil Joyce, said that the company expects to increase New Shepard's launch rate in 2024, but did not provide details on when its next mission would be, or if it would fly humans. Besides, Blue Origin is also focused on developing the technologies to help NASA build an enduring presence on the moon. Earlier this year, it won a $34.7 million contract to build solar cells and transmission wire out of the lunar regolith, the rocks and dirt on the moon. After losing the initial contract, Blue also won a contract from NASA to build a lunar lander for the space agency to fly astronauts to and from the moon's surface. Blue's proposal is an ambitious one and calls for a reusable spacecraft that would stay in lunar orbit and be refueled by a second spacecraft that would travel back and forth between Earth and the Moon. In addition to those projects, Blue is developing a commercial space station called Orbital Reef that could serve as a replacement for the ISS. Blue also recently unveiled an in-space infrastructure program known as Blue Ring, a spacecraft that would be able to fly between different orbits, including to the vicinity of the Moon using both chemical and electrical propulsion. Blue Origin is working on numerous projects, but perhaps what we and even Blue Origin want to achieve the earliest next year is the launch of New Glenn. It's a rocket designed to compete with SpaceX's Falcon 9. If everything goes as predicted, 2024 is likely to be a spectacular comeback year for the giant that once rivaled SpaceX. Do you think BO can beat SpaceX next year with these bold projects? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Is this the year Jeff Bezos' sleeping giant awakens? After the successful first flight of the Vulcan rocket using two BE-4 engines, Blue Origin seemed to be off to a good start. Recently, the company's hardware has also seen more, revealing some of its rocket launch efforts in late 2024. But will Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket meet its schedule? Although the BE-4 engine is successful, can they catch up with SpaceX? Blue Origin's recent development is indisputable. On January 10th, the first stage of Blue Origin's colossal New Glenn rocket became the king of the road as it undertook a journey from the manufacturing plant to the launch complex. 
New Glenn's first stage on the move today from our factory to launch Complex 36, the company declared, setting the stage for an awe-inspiring journey. This information has sparked interest and anticipation for the comeback of Blue Origin. It must be known that only in the last half year have they been so active, not only revealing glimpses of the future, but also allowing us to witness firsthand the beauty of their hardware, showcasing intricate designs and advanced components that propel this ambitious rocket towards space. From the mid-module stage featuring the booster's primary tanks to the inner stage and the aft module accommodating the 7BE-4 engines, every detail hinted at the rocket's sheer power. The blue pillar, strategically positioned, teased at the impending installation of fins that will guide New Glenn with finesse during its daring descent. A tarp-covered engine skirt added a touch of mystery, leaving enthusiasts guessing about the presence of engines. However, not all these booster stages are meant for actual flight. Enlarged images reveal the inscription, Not for Flight, painted on the front section. Even the hardware images of the second stage, shared by Dave Limp, who has been in the role of CEO at Blue Origin for a month, bear similar labels. This implies that at least a part will require replacement before the actual flight. So, where does their hardware for the upcoming flight stand? If these are currently just mock-ups, Blue Origin may face challenges in being ready for the end of 2024. This is not to mention that if any issues arise during testing, additional time will be needed for further research. However, Jeff Bezos undoubtedly has his plans in place. Regardless, New Glenn is a rocket that has undergone research and production for nearly a decade. It'd be funny if they didn't have two to three backup prototypes for testing in flights. Building on the revelation of the rocket hardware, Blue Origin's vice president in charge of government business, Lars Hoffman, hinted at an upcoming vertical integration at the launch pad of New Glenn, signaling a series of upcoming cryogenic loading tests. Rumors are on the rise, and Blue Origin's ground teams are gearing up for this wet dress rehearsal. Blue Origin has also charted a unique course. While many rockets undergo comprehensive full-stack tests before their maiden launch, Blue Origin's chosen a different approach. In preparation for a grand debut, the company plans to conduct each stage test in New Glenn, adding to the excitement and ensuring that every countdown moment is filled with anticipation. Jeff Bezos has expressed optimism about New Glenn's first launch by the end of 2024 as the ground teams gear up for cryogenic propellant loading tests and wet dress rehearsals. This timeline is pulsating with potential. The rocket in question is powered by seven of Blue Origin's cutting-edge BE-4 engines, which recently marked their victorious space debut by propelling United Launch Alliance's impressive Vulcan Centaur into space. ULA's Mark Peller, the vice president of Vulcan Development, shared insights on the engine delivery, stating, Blue Origin delivered the engines for this flight vehicle early last year. The real focus of test activity was getting through qualifications to qualify BE-4 for flight. They've switched back now to production engines to support our production activities. The two engines required for Vulcan's next flight are not just complete, but are currently undergoing final acceptance at Blue Origin's West Texas facility, keeping everything firmly on track. With engines now battle-tested in space, Blue Origin is primed to accelerate production. The heavy-lift rocket, distinguished by a larger diameter fearing for enhanced payload capacity, rivals SpaceX's Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. The new Glenn rocket utilizes seven BE-4 engines, capable of generating an initial thrust of 3.9 million pounds during liftoff, with a first stage designed for up to 25 flights. In comparison, a Falcon 9 produces 1.7 million pounds of thrust, while the Vulcan Centaur, employing a maximum of six solid rocket boosters, can achieve a thrust of 3.3 million pounds. A Falcon Heavy, essentially a combination of three Falcon 9 rockets, can generate a thrust of 5.1 million pounds. Similar to SpaceX, Blue Origin's boosters are engineered for reusability and will attempt a landing 620 miles downrange in the Atlantic, followed by a return to the launch site and the grand entrance at Port Canaveral, where a towering 375-foot crane awaits. While the launch timeline for New Glenn remains a crucial variable, the prospect of outpacing Elon's journey to Mars raises questions about its feasibility. As the competition intensifies in the race to Mars, Blue Origin's ambitious endeavors resonate within the cosmic backdrop. However, amidst the awe-inspiring strides, the SpaceX Starship looms in the background, representing a formidable force on an entirely different scale. 
So let's consider whether Blue Origin can really catch up with SpaceX. Many believe that calling SpaceX and Blue Origin rivals is like saying the New York Yankees and a Little League team are rivals. There is really no comparison to make. Much like SpaceX's next-generation Starship rocket, Blue Origin began work on its semi-reusable New Glenn rocket in the early 2010s. Both were massive, meant to be powered by huge new methane-oxygen-fueled engines, and designed from the ground up with some degree of reusability in mind. But with fairly different designs and wildly different development philosophies, the paths of Blue Origin and SpaceX have only gotten further apart over the last six years. SpaceX thoroughly redesigned its next-generation rocket multiple times before throwing out a large portion of that prior work and settling on an unexpected stainless steel variant that CEO Elon Musk christened Starship in late 2018. Further differentiating the companies, SpaceX began work on steel prototypes almost immediately and successfully built and flew a scrappy Pathfinder, powered by an early version of the same Raptor engine meant for Starship less than a year later. SpaceX then improvised a factory out of a series of tents and began churning out and testing more than dozens of more refined prototypes, seven of which would go on to perform flight tests between August of 2020 and May of 2021. SpaceX's last test flight ended with a full-size steel Starship prototype successfully landing after launching to an altitude of 10 kilometers. The testing process significantly slowed down after that success. But in 2023, SpaceX conducted its first two orbital test flights. That orbital launch debut has been more or less continuously delayed for years and is about 26 months behind the tentative schedule Musk first sketched out in 2016. Technically, the same is true for Blue Origin, which also said that it intended to debut New Glenn as early as 2020. However, while SpaceX can point to the instability of Starship's design before 2019 as a fairly reasonable excuse for delays, the general characteristics of New Glenn's design appear to be virtually unchanged despite its many delays. The smaller rocket, 7 meters wide and 98 meters tall to Starship's 9 meter width and 121 meter height, will still use traditional aluminum alloys for most of its structures, will be powered by seven BE-4 engines, will land on several deployable legs, will have an expendable upper stage powered by two BE-3U engines, and will be topped with a large composite payload fairing. In short, Jeff Bezos probably wants Blue Origin to go slowly but surely like a turtle. But perhaps for this race, the SpaceX bunny has never stopped to rest. That's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comment section below. Your feedback's very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.